<laughs> Hi, my name is Catherine Hayhoe. I study what climate change means to us in the places where we live. Uh, I'm 10 years old. Oh, nine. Sorry. Uh -huh. Who invented light bulbs? The first bulb was made in 1840, but it was really expensive. So it wasn't until 1880 when Thomas Edison invented the first cheap light bulb that people could actually buy. How does the weather change? How does global warming affect the world? How does global warming affect the world around us? When we think about global warming, we think about the temperature of our whole planet. But what we notice is what's happening in the places where we live. If we're living in the northeast part of the United States, we see stronger rainfalls and even sometimes heavier snow, if you can believe that. If we're living along the coast, we see sea level rise and stronger hurricanes. If we're living inland, we see longer and heat waves. We see all different things depending on where it is that we live. What is fossil fuel? Fossil fuels are the leftovers from ancient plants and animals that have gotten pushed down and squished under rock for hundreds of millions of years. Under all that pressure and heat, that organic material from plants and animals has turned into coal and oil and natural gas. Today, we burn it to get energy. But when we burn it, it releases all of that carbon that was trapped in it for millions of years right into the atmosphere. When did climate change start? When did global warming start happening? How long have people been trying to stop global warming? Our planet's climate has been changing for pretty much as long as we've had an atmosphere. What's new about today, though, is that humans are causing climate to change. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, when we figured out how to dig massive amounts of coal and gas and oil out of the ground and burn it, releasing all of that extra carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, extra carbon dioxide that we didn't need, that's wrapping a blanket around our planet and trapping all that extra heat inside. Is there a way to stop global warming? The best way to stop climate change is to stop burning fossil fuels. If we can transition to clean ways of getting energy, like wind and solar, then we won't be putting all that extra carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What's the best thing that we can do to stop global warming? We can measure our carbon footprint. Go online, Google Carbon Calculator, and we can figure out how much carbon we produce or our family produces or our school produces. Is it coming from how long we drive in the car? Is it coming from what type of light bulbs we use in our house, how much meat we eat, whether our house is insulated or not. Once we figure out where our carbon's coming from, then we can figure out what to do about it. The other thing we can do though is we can tell people that we care. It's so important that people know that we live on this planet, it's the only planet we have, and we all want a happy, safe, secure future. It just makes sense to care about climate change. How do animals survive in lightning storms and like tornadoes and stuff? How do fish, fish survive in a water spout? Um, how does the sun make stuff hot? I started SQUAW, the Stop Global Warming Association, and our question is what can SQUAW do to help you?